Uh, we are today going to be starting with telling you guys a little bit about us and sharing a PowerPoint about how Student Union can support you guys as students at Coast Mountain College. And then also we're going to touch on some virtual events to let you guys know what's coming up for September. Even at a distance, we want to keep engaged with you guys as much as we can. And here's some feedback from you guys on events that you'd like to see. So I'm going to start sharing a PowerPoint for everyone. And we'll get started. Can we see it, Golnoosh? Looks good. All right. You want to intro yourself first? Sure. Um, I am Golnoosh, and I am the organizer at the Coast Mountain Students Union, and I am on campus right now in Terrace. <laughs> Yeah, and like I said, I am Britt Demideros. I am the Student Engagement Officer at Coast Mountain College, um, and I'm currently on campus, uh, the Terrace campus. So, um, I am going to talk a little bit about the Students' Union. Um, you might have heard of the Students' Union because you guys actually pay your fees, um, your Student Union fees. And those fees actually go to support the services that we offer at the college, um, as well as some of the events that we host. And um, we do a bit of advocacy work as well. So I will talk a little bit about that. I think we can go to the next slide. So um, I do have my email address just on the bottom there. It's organizer at mycmsu.ca. Um, in case you want to get a hold of me, do reach out just to say hello um, or reach out with any questions that you might have. I am always checking my emails, so please do email me. <laughs> we can go to the next slide, yeah. So a little bit about some of the services that we provide. Um, we do have uh, a promotional materials kind of agreement with the BC Federation of Students. So through them, through our affiliation with them, we get some really great discounts on some of the supplies that you guys would be using for your school year. So um, I actually have some with me that I will be giving out at the um, end of this session. We will be taking an attendance and um, giving away five of these kind of like prize packs. So I have uh, some water bottles to give away. Um, I have some pencil cases. And some cool little snazzy t-shirts. We actually have a brand new logo this year. And I really like it. It was designed by a graduate of our um, First Nations Design School. And her name is Carrie Morgan. And she is a Nishka artist. Um, we also have our logo on some of these stickers. And we got some cute little pins. So yeah, some of you might be getting these in your prize packs. And we also have um, some notebooks pens and we also supply some day planners that haven't arrived yet but I plan to get them out to as many students as I can. Um, we'll be getting pretty creative with how we get this stuff to you guys. Usually we would have had a table set out where we just give this stuff away but obviously because of COVID we can't do that. So um, I have been talking to Brittany about some ideas we have for how to get those things to you. So yeah. Um, some of the other services that we provide, we do help students with their tax returns in the spring. So if you are confused about what that looks like or you've maybe never done it for yourself, do reach out to us. We can provide support in that. Um, we also offer through, again, our affiliation with the BC Federation of Students, we have something called the Deals app, which is a student discount program for some of the local businesses in town. Um, over the course of the next few months, I will be going out to some of those businesses and um, kind of updating our agreements and coming up with new deals that make sense now that um, some students are having to study online. Um, so definitely look out for that. Um, we also facilitate the student clubs on campus. So if you ever have any ideas for um, a club that, you know, maybe you and your friends want to get together and create, um, I'm definitely all ears. There are some funding options available that we can help fund some of your projects and events. So if you ever want to reach out to me and ask about that, please do so. Um, we do provide some emergency financial aid assistance to students. Um, during COVID, we uh, 
worked with the college to give out some gift cards for food that a lot of students actually benefited from. Um, it's something that we write into our budget every year, so that's not just exclusive to COVID. Um, it is available to students on an as-needed basis. Um, we also have facilitated the book swap program, which is the buying and selling of used textbooks in the past. Um, this is going to look a little bit different moving forward just because um, we can't really have it as a face-to-face -face service anymore. Um, so one of the things that we are looking at bringing to campus is a campus-wide app that will have the book swap along with some other services on that app. Um, please do stay tuned for more details in the next few weeks about that app. Um, I'm really excited and I think Brittany's pretty excited about it too. So I will be rolling that out in the next few weeks. Um, one of the other services that we provide is just kind of understanding your rights, the policies and the procedures of the college. Um, I know it can be a little bit convoluted, um, but if you ever have like grade appeals or um, complaints or any like disciplinary action that might be being taken towards you that you feel is not fair or um, is not right, do reach out to us and we can kind of explain what your rights are and what the procedures are for working that out with the college. So we kind of help you advocate for yourself in that way. Um, I think we're ready for the next slide. I don't want to talk too much about services because um, there's a lot of stuff that we provide, but any basically anytime you feel like you have a question about student life or like your rights as a student, just reach out to me and I'll either be able to support you directly or refer you to somebody who can. Um, Hi, Gilnoosh. This is Jill. Uh, I'm on the line too, so I'm just moderating your chat today. Oh, uh, I have a question here for you from uh, Manpreet. And he, okay. uh, they're asking how international students can use BookSwap if they're studying from overseas. Um, that is a really good question. Um, I think one of the biggest challenges right now for us in student services is trying to um, give the same services to all students, regardless of where they're learning from. Um, so that's definitely something that I would love to kind of help work out. I mean, if it involves like maybe there's like a shipping cost or something that you have to cover, but it still makes more sense for you to buy that textbook used, um, we can definitely look at into that and also help you actually get the book shipped to you. Um, I don't know exactly what that looks like, but it might be kind of like a case by case basis, depending on where you are. So um, just reach out to me directly about that. My email address will be provided again at the end of this presentation. Great question though. Um, just gonna go back to the advocacy stuff. So some of the uh, campaigns that we've been running through the BC Federation of Students has been to eliminate interest on student loans. So after you are all done with your studies, you have to pay those student loans back after six months and um, interest does start are accumulating on those. So we advocate for the interest on the uh, provincial portion to also be eliminated. Um, the federal portion was eliminated a few years ago, so um, we're still advocating for the provincial portion as well. Um, we generally advocate for just more funding to education, which actually it ends up lowering tuition fees if we are able to increase funding to education. Um, so that, that kind of works hand in hand. Um, we also work to regulate fee increases for international students as that's currently not regulated. Um, we think that all students should have the same kind of access to education. So that's really important for us um, to advocate for international students as well. Um, we advocate for open source textbooks, which basically means that instead of having to buy a really expensive textbook for every single course every semester, you have this online platform where you can access all your textbooks at a very reduced cost because they no longer have to like print them out or ship them to you or market them to you. Um, so we definitely think that open source textbooks are kind of the way of the future as far as education goes. Um, and then also just equity and education for Indigenous students, um, especially with like the Truth and Reconciliation Protocols coming out, we um, really take those seriously and look for opportunities to um, help bring our Indigenous students up and um, just support them in any way that they might need support. 
Um, I think with that, we can go to the next slide and talk about getting involved with the student union. So coming up is our elections for our board of directors and campus reps, and that will be happening in October. So this is an opportunity for all students of Coast Mountain College, whether they're international or domestic, to get involved and um, kind of be the decision makers for the students union. Um, it's honestly a really important job. And um, I think that if you feel passionately about some of the issues that students are facing, I highly encourage you to at least run for the election and um, even if you're unsuccessful, I mean, there's still so many ways for you to get involved as a volunteer with the student union. We're always looking for help and literally the possibilities are pretty much endless. We um, are independent from the college, so um, having our own volunteer is, I don't know if you can hear that. I'm so sorry, there's some work being done outside my office. Um, yeah, so just getting, I was told this would start afternoon, so they're a little bit early. My apologies. Um, so yeah, just get reach out to me if you feel like you want to get involved either on the board or as a campus rep or to organize, organize student clubs um, or just to volunteer with us for um, kind of one-off events. Please do get in touch with me with that email address that I provided earlier. Next slide. So, I think so we want to speak to, uh, sorry, Golnush. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so we wanted to speak to some events that we have coming up for September. Um, like I was saying when we were doing introductions, uh, just because we are at a distance right now and this semester is looking very different than what a normal semester would look like for us due to COVID, uh, we still want to be engaging with you guys and we still want to have some events available for you, but just in most of them will be in a virtual uh, platform. So we have an art journaling series coming up. Uh, this is going to be run by Kasia. She is our accessibilities coordinator, but this is something near and dear to her. Um, and she's been thinking about putting this on for a while. So essentially what that would look like is um, creating an art journal for yourself um, through like mixed media. So different textures and pulling from magazines and just creating something really uh, genuine to yourself. And there's no rules. It's just however you want to create. Um, if you are going to be in Terrace, uh, Golnush and I are going to be taking a group of students up to do a Terrace Mountain hike. Uh, they, we'll be following social distancing protocols and we'll be outdoors. Uh, this event, you would have to find your own transportation to and from just because we can't be ride sharing right now. Um, but everyone that's in Terrace and local to Terrace is welcome to come. Um, as well, you'll see on the calendar some virtual wellness and fitness events. Uh, we're going to be doing two wellness and fitness events a month. Uh, September, we're having a total body workout and a virtual yoga class. Uh, we're also going to be hosting a virtual open mic night. So this is something I'm super excited about. This was actually suggested by a student, and uh, I think it's a great idea. So what the thought is behind this would be to have um, staff and faculty and students who are musically inclined and you can email me my emails down on the bottom of the screen here um, and sign up for a spot to play in a virtual open mic. So I think that's going to be great. If you are musically inclined, please email me. I want this to be very successful and I want to see everyone's great talents. Um, we're also having a virtual trivia night. So that is kind of pulling back to what we usually did when we were allowed to be on campus. Uh, once a month, I would host a games night for students and it was really popular. Um, and I'm not ready to give that up. So I wanna try it in a virtual format. So I think the first one that we're gonna do is trivia. Um, October, we're gonna have bingo. And if you guys have some suggestions of games that you'd like to play in a virtual format, please email me too. I'm, I'm fully open to suggestions. I wanna hear what you guys want. Um, and then touching on the First Nation Access Coordinators events that are coming up. 
So every year, beginning of semester, uh, Jill and her team put on an amazing welcome feast. Uh, this year, it's looking a little bit different. It's going to be a virtual format, but it's open to all students, uh, staff, faculty, and I encourage everyone to come. Um, it's amazing. There's drumming and some, some great speeches by our elders, and it's really, really awesome. I, I encourage everyone to come to that. Um, as well as on the 30th is Orange Shirt Day. Again, another virtual event. Um, it's open to all students, staff, and faculty. It's a virtual presentation on Indian residential school survivors. And there will be three different representatives joining us. And I want to encourage everyone to come to that too. Um, basically, if you can come to these events and keep engaged with us, please do. We want to see you guys. We want to still be making those connections. Um, and then lastly on events, if you have an event that you would like to spearhead or just have an idea for me um, of something that you'd want to see or something that you'd like my help in putting on, uh, please email me. I would love to hear your guys' feedback and I think um, I want to be giving students what they, what they want for events. So feedback is fully welcome. Um, yeah, on that note, I just kind of want to reiterate Brittany's point that, you know, please do send us feedback. Please do send us ideas. We want to give you guys events that you want to do. So, um, especially now that you can't just drop by my office or Brittany's office, it's really important for you guys to be using email to um, get a hold of us and just bug us until we make your events happen. <laughs> Yeah, I agree with that. I still, I'm missing my one-on-one -on -one connections with students and the more students that contact me for events and wanting to put things on or be part of different events, the better, I think. Mm -hmm. um, do we have some time for questions? We do, yeah. So I just want you guys to um, take down our emails here if you haven't taken them down already. Uh, you can also find our emails on the directory on our website as well. Hi ladies, this is Jill again. I have a question for you that's in the chat here from Manpreet asking if you can please put details of the events on the Facebook page of the college as well. Hi Manpreet. Yeah, so um, all of our events are usually shared to our Facebook page, our website, and then also usually our Instagram as well. Um, and then just touching on the app that Golnoosh had spoke about earlier on in the session, that would be somewhere where we're going to be housing events too as well. Um, it's it's going to be a little bit of a slower startup for that because it's quite the process. Uh, but once we get that uh, the ball rolling on that, then we're going to share that with students as well. But Facebook is definitely your go-to for events right now. Um, and also make sure to follow the Coast Mountain Students Union on Facebook and Instagram as well. We have both. Our accounts are separate from the college, but um, we will be posting a lot of the same content, especially when it comes to events. So we'll just get double reminders. <laughs> yeah, nothing wrong with that, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think we just want to open it up. If anyone else has any more questions that they want to ask us, either verbally or through chat, please do. Okay, I just see a question from Manpreet here. It says, can we participate in these events while being overseas? Yes, please do. Um, they might not always work for time difference, but if you can attend, we'd love to see you. I really want to make sure that we're hosting events that are, in, that are inclusive for students uh, near and far, um, and we are going to keep that in mind. I know um, if you are an international student and you're on this call, um, Myrna, who is our international coordinator, I'm sure some of you have spoke with her already, she's going to be holding two international sessions, um, one on Wednesday and one on Thursday, and those are in the evening, so they should be a little bit more time friendly for you guys. But as for non-academic events, I think that's something that um, Golnush and I can touch on and 
and come up with some different ideas as well because we want to keep it inclusive for everyone. But yes, please participate if you can. I think there's some questions in the chat about how to participate in the events. Yeah, so um, usually for events uh, that are virtual, they'll be in this exact same format that we're using right now, which is BlueJeans. Um, it's similar to Zoom. I'm not sure if you guys have used Zoom or BlueJeans in the past, uh, but we'll always have the post um, include the link for your BlueJeans virtual session as well. So on Facebook, it'll give you a little bit blurb about what the event is, um, times, dates, and then we'll also include the link as well there. But this will be the general format for virtual events. Oh, awesome. And Jill's linked uh, the Student Union's Facebook page in the chat. So go give them a follow. And the Coast Mountain page too. If you don't follow our Coast Mountain page, please do. Um, I also want to just go back to some of the questions. There was a question about um, just generally a lot of the services for the student union not being as accessible to international students. I totally understand that that's a thing that we're right now with COVID and I really encourage you as a student to reach out to me directly and explain your situation so that I can understand and come up with solutions because I'm learning as I go along too and it's only been I've only been in this role for a month so um, not only am I learning the role but I'm learning the role during COVID so if there's anything that you feel like you need as a support from the international student side that you're not receiving from the college, please reach out to me and let me know what that is so that we can look into um, making that happen for you. Hi, Gold Nutris, Jill. I think Allison has a question for you ladies. Awesome. Allison, are you still here? You might be muted, maybe. I think in, I think we have a little bit of a technical I issue. Have it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, can you hear me now? Oh, that's better. Yeah, we can hear you, Allison. Can you hear me? Yeah. We can hear you, Allison. Looks like Allison's having some technical issues. She's just typing the question into the chat. <laughs> is that the question? <laughs> I have a oh, feeling Allison it is. <laughs> really no, it wants a question. karaoke night. <laughs> Allison, if you plan a sing off, I'm sure students will join. Oh, at the virtual open mic. I don't know if if I have the guts to do it. <laughs> Hi, yeah, I think I have a delay here. I'm not sure if you can hear me, but Brittany, I am, we've talked about this in the past when we were discussing possible student events. And so I challenge you to a thing off. <laughs> Yeah, I think her mic is a little bit cutting in and out. <laughs> All right, does anyone have any last questions for us before we wrap things up? Just keeping mindful of time.
Are there any more questions? Might have missed maybe. I'm just seeing in the chat here. Um, let's see. Um, I have someone asking if they can volunteer with the students union. Yes, of course. Please email Golnoosh. Um, emails are in the chat. Um, and then she can give you a little bit more detail on how she could use virtual volunteers. Maybe that's something we need to give a little bit more thought to. I think I do. Um, it's definitely a different format. I'm usually used to having volunteers face to face and, you know, building events. Um, but if you're looking to virtually volunteer, please email us and we can come up with some options for sure. Yeah, I definitely think once um, the campus app starts rolling out, there'll be a lot more opportunities for students to get involved with that app. I, my vision for it is that like students are creating the content for it as much as possible. So um, if you want to volunteer your time to put up content that other students will benefit from, please, by all means, get in touch with me and we can talk about that. Yeah, and just answering, um, we have Kayla in the chat. She was just wondering um, if we could give an overview of this session. I just want to let everyone know that these sessions for orientation are actually being recorded. So they're going to be posted to our orientation webpage as well. Um, so if you need to refer back to the session or if you weren't able to attend a session and you really want to get that information, um, Jill, maybe if I could just have you link that orientation page if you have a second to do that. Um, all the sessions that we are doing this week will be recorded and they'll be posted to that orientation page on our website. Oh yeah, Jill's just grabbing it for us and she's going to put it in the chat for everyone. Oh, awesome. So, so yeah, it's in the chat there, that link. Um, if anyone needs to refer back, just click that link and it'll bring you to all the information of this week and the recorded sessions should be posted there fairly soon after we complete them. I think if that's it, we're going to say bye to everyone and thank you guys so much for attending. Please do email us if you have any questions. Golnish, anything you want to end to wrap it up? Uh, no, I just, I noticed there's a lot of international students on the call and I really appreciate you guys making the time. It's probably like three in the morning or something for you. So thank you for making the time to take this call. And um, I really look forward to hearing from everybody. Please. Yeah, we appreciate get you guys all so much. <laughs> hey, Britt, can you just speak quickly to what the next session is that's happening today? Yeah, for sure. So the next session coming up, let me grab my schedule here. Um, it's at one o'clock today. It's with Allison Conway, our financial aid officer. Um, and this is going to be a session on uh, Canadian student loans for part time and full time students. So if anyone would like to attend that, um, it's for Canadian student loans for part time and full time students from one to two p.m. today. All right, with that, everyone, I think we're going to sign off. Thank you so much for attending, and Thank we'll you. see you in future sessions this week. <laughs> Email me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all. See ya. Stay safe. Take care.